Welcome back to Fact Speaker Hub. Today, we're diving deep into India's first bullet train project, the Mumbai to Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor. From construction updates and station stops, to pricing, speed, and the high-tech Japanese trains arriving soon, we've got the full breakdown. Let's jump in. The Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train is 508 kilometers long, and construction is progressing fast. Over 300 kilometers of viaducts have already been built, including long span steel bridges. The 7 kilometer undersea tunnel under Thane Creek is one of the most ambitious parts of the project, and tunneling work is now underway. In Gujarat, track laying has started with over 150 kilometers of reinforced beds already prepared. Station buildings and maintenance depots are also under construction. Overall, Gujarat leads the project with over half the work completed, while Maharashtra is steadily catching up. The full corridor is expected to be operational between 2027 and 2028. The train will start from Mumbai's Bandra Kurla complex and end at Sabarmati in Ahmedabad. Along the way there will be 12 stations, Mumbai BKC, Thane, Vira, Boisar, Vapi, Bilimora, Surat, Baruch, Vadodara, Anand, Ahmedabad, Sabamati. There will be two types of service. An express train will stop only at Surat and Vadodara, completing the journey in under two hours. The all-stop service will halt at every station and complete the trip in just under three hours. The bullet train will run at a top speed of 320 km per hour, drastically reducing travel time between Mumbai and Ahmedabad. The express service is expected to cover the route in around 1 hour and 58 minutes, while the all-stop service will take approximately 2 hours and 57 minutes. In comparison, the Vande Bharat train currently takes around 5 and a half hours, and air travel, once you include check-in and security, takes about the same or more. This bullet train will be the fastest mode of land transport between these two major cities. Expected fares for the Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train will range from RS2500 to RS3500 for a one way ticket. That's higher than current train services, but still competitive considering the time saved, comfort, and world class experience. Business class will likely cost more, while economy will be affordable for regular travelers. The pricing also takes into account long term infrastructure investment, high end technology, and operational costs. The bullet train will use Japan's world-famous Shinkansen models. The E5 series, known for its speed, safety and comfort, will be the main train operating on this route. Capable of speeds up to 320 km per hour, the E5 is well suited for India's climate and terrain. Japan will also provide E3 models for early training and trials. In the future, India plans to develop its own high-speed trains capable of 280 km per hour. These will be manufactured by Indian companies and introduced gradually. By the 2030s, next-generation models, similar to Japan's E10 or Alpha X trains, may also enter service, pushing speeds even higher. The signaling system is based on European and Japanese hybrid tech, ensuring safety even at top speeds. India is just getting started with high-speed rail. After Mumbai Ahmedabad, the next big project is the Delhi Ahmedabad Corridor, which will eventually connect to Mumbai. Other proposed lines include Mumbai Nagpur, Delhi Amritsar, and Mumbai Hyderabad. These projects will be powered by a mix of Japanese technology and India's own emerging train manufacturing capabilities. The goal is to create a high-speed network that links all major metros in the coming decades. The Mumbai Ahmedabad bullet train is not just about speed, it's about transforming India's future. With world-class infrastructure, cutting-edge tech and visionary planning, it marks a new era in Indian rail history. If you enjoyed this in-depth analysis, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Factspeaker Hub. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on India's biggest tech, defense and infrastructure stories. Until next time, keep exploring.